Ice, ice, and more ice. We are making ice in Blender, and with a few simple pieces, we can make everything into a nice ice landscape with a little Easter egg in the very end. So the first step to creating ice is getting the shape right. Now ice can be formed into many shapes, but I'm thinking of naturally occurring icebergs, glaciers, and so on. Subdivided cubes are a great place to start. Then we can stretch and form them into these wedge-like shapes. We want a mixture of softness and sharpness. Generally, snow is soft and ice is hard. A simple approach is to stack all the wedge shapes next to each other and randomize them a little bit. This gives us a nice starting point for our ice block. Then we can move into remeshing everything. Jump into sculpt mode and hit remesh. And while we're here, we can continue sculpting on our mesh. Just make everything a bit more organic. When making icebergs in water, always consider that the part underwater is usually bigger than the part above. So I'll just extend the bottom of mine a little bit. Now the parts that we imagine to be in contact with water, we can sculpt a bit differently. Carving in marks in the bottom of the iceberg mimics the ice and snow that has been eaten by the ocean when it surrounds an iceberg like this. So we will do this all over our iceberg. All right, our iceberg is complete and then we can create a couple more. And let's create some variation among these. Some are flatter, some are taller and just vary them up. And really think about that bottom sculpted part. I really think that helps sell the icy feel. All right, with that done, we can move on to creating the water around everything. This will be very similar to the method in my other tutorial, underwater scenes and blenders. So if you want to see what we did there, you can check that one out. We will use the same nodes and setup, but with modified settings. I will create a new cube with a new material and add a principal volume and a volume absorption node and then mix them together. I'm aiming for a slightly green tint in the water and I want some depth showing right on the edge of my icebergs. These settings work nicely for me. Now we have a nice ocean volume, but we need some waves and breakups on the surface. To make this happen, we will create a new plane and add an ocean modifier to it. Increase the resolution and adjust the size and line it up with the ocean volume. I suggest adjusting the scale and choppiness to get a better result. Now we need to create a new material for the ocean. For this, we'll set it to transmission, which will mimic glass and refraction. If rendering in EV, we need to enable refraction on the material and in the screen space reflections to get the proper effects. But in EV, refraction and volumes don't play too well together. But if we play with the alpha, we can change the effect and we sort of get both of them working at the same time. But in cycles, this pretty much works out of the box. But if you do need some more control, you could drive the alpha with a Fresnel or layer weight, and then you could have some more artistic control. All right, back to the ice itself. Let us create a new material. The first thing we can do is separate the top from the rest so we can create the look of snow on top of all the ice. This can be done by grabbing the normals and separating the XYZ and then grabbing the C pass as a mask. All right, we can separate them a little bit further. Let's assume that everything underwater is ice, which makes sense because of the pressure of the water and just how everything melts. So we can isolate it with a ramp and a gradient in the set direction. Then we just add some noise to the whole mix and create some different shaders for each part. For the ice, we'll have a principal shader with transmission as well, but this time with more roughness and give it a nice bluish color. I really suggest playing with the qualities of the ice. It takes a while to get it just right. At this point, I want to start creating more of a set and a landscape. So I brought in a boat, a friend created such a nice boat. I modified the boat a bit, made it taller and brought it into the scene as a focal point. I think the red sail and the greenish ocean will contrast nicely together. It was really great fun playing around with the placement of the ship in the ice landscape. And I wanted to create a little Easter egg for this scene. So I created a new ice block and added a duplicate of our ice material. And I brought back a little friend, which you might recognize. If not, then you can see how she was created in my tutorial on creating sea monsters in Blender. The idea here was to have the sea monster trapped in this massive ice block, and then the boat could sort of uh, sail past. So I modified this new ice material so that that was possible. And if you want to give some grit and detail to your ice, then maybe use some textures for the roughness and bump. I ended up doing the same thing for my other ice materials. Here I was done with all the assets, so I started finding a nice shot for the boat among the ice. When that was done, I rendered it all out and brought it into Photoshop, where I enhanced everything with a bit of pop and sparkle. And here is the final image. This was super fun to do, and I might revisit the landscape again. I feel like there's a lot more that could be done and try it out. If you want to see the full process for this ice landscape, then you can check it out on our Gumroad, along with some of our other courses. Well, that is it for now. See you in the next one, and thanks for watching.